Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, of Beverly Hills, California. And today I'd like to discuss with you some very exciting findings and exciting research that's just been released. Our center has been involved and has been the leading center in the last two trials looking at teprotumumab. This is a really unique drug that helps to minimize and reverse thyroid eye disease. And it's the first drug of its kind ever to be potentially available later in the year or early next year. So teprotumumab has a really complicated name. But it all started from research that identified what receptor the immune system attacked. So we all know that the immune system attacks the thyrotropin receptor because that's what causes the antibodies, the TSA, TSIs, and the TRAB antibodies. But the immune system also attacks another receptor called the IGF-1 receptor. And that's what teprotumumab blocks but doesn't activate. So teprotumumab acts as kind of a stealth blanket over this receptor where it blocks the receptor from being seen by the immune system so the immune system no longer attacks it. And this drug, according to the phase two trial that we led, reverses thyroid eye disease, meaning that the swelling and the redness and the eye bulging all tend to go away. Well, last week, the top line data of the phase three trial was just released. And it was actually quite exciting because it, for the first time, demonstrates again that a medical therapy can reverse the eye bulging, double vision, and swelling that's associated with this disease. So in this trial, the patients were between 18 and 75 years old. And they had thyroid eye disease or symptoms of thyroid eye disease for less than nine months. So these patients were primarily in the active phase of treatment. The patients were then treated with eight infusions of teprotumumab given three weeks apart. And quite surprisingly, by the time that they reached their second, third, and fourth infusion, they were already seeing extraordinary benefits. So shown in this slide, demonstrates the response of patients to this drug. And you can see as early as six weeks, 12 weeks, and that's only two or four treatments, um, infusions with the drug, you can see a dramatic improvement in the responder rate due to this drug. And by responder rate, the endpoint of this drug, again, was reduction of proptosis, the same as what you can achieve through surgery. So this drug was highly effective at reducing proptosis and reducing the clinical activity score, which is the measure of redness and swelling around the eye. In addition, it also met the criteria for improving the quality of life, as you can imagine with the, such good improvement. And it also reduced double vision. So this really represents the potential for a new first line therapy to be used for patients with active thyroid eye disease. And what you can see in the safety overview is that the drug was very well tolerated. Patients had some very minor complaints with the drug, but overall the drug appears to be very safe and according to the data, very effective. So as we move forward, hopefully this drug will be approved by the FDA sometime later this year and available early next year. But it really represents hope for everyone dealing with this disease and really represents a foundation for all the research that's been done in our lab and others looking at understanding the real root causes of this disease and trying to design things to help and to overcome this disease process. So look forward, look for more information coming out later this year. And please look at our YouTube uh, and web pages for additional information that will be emerging on the use of this drug. We're always happy to answer any questions and look forward to the release of hopefully of this drug in the near future. Thanks so much.